हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल्ड ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आई टी प्रो रेडी फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज वीडियो इज हाउ टू इंस्टॉल आर्क लिनिक्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ऑन विचुअल बॉक्स ऑन विंडोज टेन बेसिकली आर्क लिनिक्स इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वेन इट कम्स टू इंस्टॉलेशन because we do not get any graphical user interface while installation process we have to do all the installation steps through commands and by using a text editor but for some people it is a benefit because they get to install only those thing which they want to install in their system first of all i will show you that how to download arc linux 2021 For that, open your browser and go to arclinux.org, and this is the official website of Arc Linux. From here, click on this download button. Here it says 774.3 MB, and this is the size of ISO file. Scroll down, and here you see countries. So I will go to Canada. So I will just click on it, and from here I will download the ISO file for 64-bit version system. and here is the file for 64 bit architecture i will just click on it and what it will do it will start the download process i have already downloaded this file and that is why i am seeing a this message so i will just cancel it in your case download your iso file and then you are ready to install your arch linux in a virtual machine after you are done with the download process open your virtual box and in here click on new button Here we will create a new machine in our virtual machine. So what I will do, I will name my Arc Linux here, and here you can see it has taken the type automatically as Linux, and in version it has taken the version as Arc Linux on its own. After that, I will click on Next. Now here you have to give the memory size. Recommended one is the five hundred twelve megabytes. I'll give it. about 4 gigabytes i think that would be enough after that click on next now click on create again click on next and now again click on next here you have two choices you can either go with dynamically allocated or you can go with the fixed one in dynamically allocated you have the benefit and that benefit is as soon as your system needs more space it will get on its own but in fixed size it will not happen because it will not be able to get more space as you are going over the fixed one so i am going with dynamically allocated now click on next and this is the directory where your arc linux will get installed if you want to go with your personalized directory just click on this folder icon and then go to any directory where you want to install your arc linux i am going in my d partition and in here i will create a new folder over the name of arc linux After that click on open now save this directory and we are done and this is the space from your hard drive i am going to give it 20 gigabytes and here it is so after that just click on create we are done with setting up our our linux in our virtual machine now we have to do some settings click on settings button here after that go to the system category from here please make sure to check this option which says enable efi click on it Now go to the storage section and from here click on this disk icon and here we will attach our iso file for that click on this option which says choose a disk file i will click on it and now go to the directory where you have downloaded your iso file i will go to my d partition because after downloading i have saved it in my d partition and this is my iso file so double click on it we have successfully added our iso file or you can say attached our iso file in our virtual machine after that just click on okay so we are done with initial settings now just click on this start button it will take a little bit of time to get started and after that we are all set to install our linux into our system here it is now again we have to attach our iso file so click on this drop down icon and here it is in case if it doesn't show up click on this folder icon and then click on plus add button and then go to the directory where you have downloaded your file just like here it is double click on it and it is been attached so just click on choose we have successfully selected our iso file for our arc linux now just click on start 
and after that you will get to a screen something like this. To start the Arc Linux installation, simply type a command which I am going to type here. Python space dash m space arc install space guided. Hit enter. Now it will start up the process of installation into our machine. Here you have to select a country. For that I am going with United States and for that I am going to write 26. After that just hit enter. Now we have to select the language for our keyboard. I am going with the United States again. For that I will write 51 and hit enter. Here we have to select the disk on which we would like to install our Arc Linux. As you know we gave the 20 gigabytes when we were setting up our virtual machine and here we have our 20 gigabytes of space at number 1. So what it will do now it will select the partition for our installation. For that I will just hit enter after writing 1. Here we have different file system which we can select for our Arc Linux. I am going with better FS for that I will press 0 and after that just hit enter. Here it is asking for the password. If you want to keep a password just type your password but I am going to leave it as a blank so I will just hit enter again. Now it says would you like to use grub as bootloader instead of system boot. Default choice is no because you can see n is capital one. So I will press n and hit enter. Now it says write the desired host name for the installation. So here you can write any name of your liking and after that just hit enter. So I will write here Zubair and after that hit enter. Now it says enter the root password. So I will write my password here and hit enter. Again I will write my password for the verification and now again I will hit enter. And here it says enter a username to create additional user. Well you can do that after the installation as well. Please do check our video which is 15 things to do after installing Arc Linux. In that video I have shown you that how you can create user after the installation of Arc Linux. You can create here as well but I am going to leave it. So for that I will just hit enter. Here it is asking enter a pre-programmed profile name if you want to install one. I am going with desktop one. For that I will press 0 and then I will hit enter because as we have selected the desktop profile the next option is asking us to set the desktop environment from the 10 possible option. In some cases it might be 11. So we will use genome as a desktop environment. If you wish to use any other desktop environment you can go with that one. As I have told you that I am going with genome so I will press 5 and then I will just hit enter. And here it is asking about our graphic card driver. You can go with any one. I am going with the all open source which is the default one. And for that I will press 1 and then I will hit enter. Now system is asking about installation of Pipewire as our default audio server. I am going to press Y because Y is the default option here. As you can see we have Y in capital. So that means it is a default option. So I will press Y and then hit enter. And here it is asking which kernel you want to use to install your Pipewire. I am going with the default one which is 0 and then hit enter. Here it is asking if you desire a web browser such as Firefox or Chromium you may specify it in the following prompt. I am going to skip it and for that I will just hit enter. Now it is asking us to set what program will control our internet connection. So from here I am going to choose option 1 which is use network manager. So just press 1 and hit enter and now it is asking select a valid time zone for your system. If you are not sure about your system or if you think that you do not know the command just hit enter. It will use the UTC time. So I will just hit enter and now it says would you like to use automatic time synchronization with the default time server. Default option is yes so I will press Y and hit enter. So we are done. And this is the summary of all the things which we have done and which we have selected for our Arc Linux. So now we are all set to install our Arc Linux. So now I will press enter and it will start the installation process.
So we are done with the download of every single file and the installation as well. Now system is asking if we want to ch root into the newly created installation. I will type n and after that I will hit enter to continue. Now we are logged in into a shell as a root user. So we will write a command to shut down our system. I will write here shut down now. Just hit enter. Now our Arc Linux is shut down. What we need to do now, we need to remove the Arc Linux ISO file from our virtual machine so that we can boot from the new installation and not the ISO image. I'll go to settings, but please make sure that you have selected the right Linux distribution if you have more than one in your virtual machine. After that, go to storage and then click on controller ID. Here it is. Now click on drop down menu, remove it from here or you can click on it and then you can see here a cross button. Just click on it and now click on remove. Click OK. So we are all set. Now what we need to do, we need to click on this start button and now our machine will boot up. So it is starting up our Arc Linux. So wait for it, it will get completed in a very little time. So this is the login screen, enter your username if you remember we had only our root as a user. So I will write here root, hit enter. Now give it your password which you have set for your Arc Linux. After that, just hit enter. It will log us in into the Arc Linux distribution. And here you have your Arc Linux installed in your virtual machine in Windows 10. And if you remember, we selected Genome Desktop Environment and this is the Genome. I will right click on my screen, I will go to my settings, scroll down, click on about section and again scroll down here. Here it says genome version. In Arc Linux 2021, we get the latest version of genome. In case if you want to know more about Arc Linux, what it is, what are the things which are new in it and what are the features and functionalities which make it stand alone from rest of the Linux distribution, please head to our channel where we have uploaded a video with the title of Arc Linux 2021 Review and First Thought. And if you want to get the best out of your Arc Linux and you want your system to use less number of resources but to give you an optimal performance, do check the video with the title of 15 things to do after installing the Arc Linux. You will see a lot of cool stuff in those videos. So that brings us to the end of this video. In this video, I have showed you the simplest and the easiest way to install Arc Linux in a virtual machine in Windows 10. There are several ways and you will find a lot of them, but this is the simplest and easiest way you will find out there. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as well so that you do not miss any future video from us. If you have something to ask, please leave a comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. So till the next video, take care.